Hey there kids, you're Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play Patience by Guns N' Roses. I'm looking at my chart here on my screen, so I'm just going to jump in right away for those of you that can just watch and see what kinds of chords I'm doing and play it. And for those of you that need a little bit more help, stick around and we'll talk about all the different parts here. Okay, so here we go. Um, and I won't play the entire tune all the way through, but I will play each part. There's basically three different sections of this song, and uh, we'll cover them all. So here we go. And two, if you try to play this with the CD, it won't sound very good because they're tuned about a half step low. Um, so in order to sound just like them, you're going to have to tune your guitar down a half step. I'm at standard tuning right now. Okay, here we go. It's going to do something like this. Uh, songs in four. So one, two, three, four. part in the end that's like a little pain. Oh, it's a... song are a C, a G, A major, or A, and a D, and an E minor. So what do we got? Five chords there, okay? And they're all our basic open chords. Now, before we get into this, any of the techniques that I'm talking about here as far as strumming and the chords, um, mutes, how to read a chart, all that good stuff. If you have any difficulty with it, check out yourguitarsage.com. Get a hold of that ebook because it's really going to help with this. And then also you can find out how to get a hold of the chart as well. Otherwise, whenever I'm doing these tunes, you're going to have to jot down the chords as I'm telling you. And so here we go. So the verse is going to go like this. Remember the song's in four, so four beats per measure. Okay. So verse second is going to go um, so like one, two, three, four, C. C, G, three, four, G, A, A, D, D. Okay, so that's the verse. Chorus is going to go, moves, the chords move a little bit, not quicker, but um, we don't hold them out for two measures a piece like we just did. These are one measure a piece. Um, and it's going to go something like this. The, the chorus is going to go uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's talk about those chords. The chords are C. minor, C, G, D, and another D. Okay. So that is literally the bulk of this song. Now there's this outro part where they're like, just keep repeating that. Okay. So we, of course, we've got two D's and two G's. D, D, G. Some people ask me about my G, what I'm doing here. Sometimes I lift this finger up. Um, I fat finger. I take this second finger and I kind of lay it over on the fifth string to mute it. 
So, in fact, I don't actually play that note. I just play that right there. Um, technically not a G chord, it's a G5, but it's close enough. It's a regular G, here's a G5. Okay, so, pretty similar. Um, okay, what else? Strumming on this one, let's talk about that. Strumming is going to do, what I do on this one is like, um, which is a 1, 2, and, and 4, and. If you've watched any of my other videos, you're going to find out that this is a theme in rock and country, is these, um, this basic strum. And yes, this is more country than it is rock, so for those of you out there that um, love rock and hate country, sorry kids, this is a country song. As is, every rose has its thorn. Sorry. It really is. Okay, it's that feel. So, rock and country are very much the same. It's just the uh, production and stuff like that's a little bit different. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate mail on that, but that's alright. I'm here to enlighten kids. Um, alright, so, the strumming that I do on it is one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four. And. Okay, again, if you have issues with this strumming, check out that ebook because I've got a whole battery of strumming exercises. Um, that will help you, and I also have a video on the YouTube channel, Your Guitar Sage, that will help you with these. Okay, so, but I'm going to go over it with you real slow. We got a minute here or so. Um, to practice this rhythm, mute your strings so they're dead and like that, and just go one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and. If you're having difficulty with it, just practice it really, really slow, but make sure that hand keeps going. Whether you're hitting the strings or not, it should always go, just like a grandfather clock. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and. If I'm just doing this and I'm just hitting the upbeats, I could go. But I'm still in time, and this is that, that constant movement will keep you in time. Okay. Alright kids, I think that's about it on this one. Um, trying to put up a video every single day, so hit subscribe if you haven't, and if you haven't already, for the love of Pete, go get that ebook. It's going to help you a bunch. Um, YourGuitarSage.com, and go practice. See ya.